Good morning, family. Monday morning. Wanted to uh, share just a tidbit this morning. Just something to bless you this morning. I'm already here at work, but I wanna. I was driving to work and God just out of the blue just blessed me, and I was so touched by it. And lately, He's been doing a lot of good things. So I'm sharing this word to bring encouragement this morning. That's the whole thing. This is um, a friend of mine calls them gold nuggets. Um, but but listen to this, and then I'm going to break it down real quick for you. Heavenly Father, it is Monday morning. You have blessed us to rise once again. May your word touch us, fill us, heal us, deliver us, encourage us, inspire us to keep moving forward, to give us endurance and perseverance, Lord God, to climb those mountains, to move those mountains to stand in faith, to believe in your word, to remind you of your word, to walk in obedience as a good soldier, looking not at the things that are behind us, but the things in front of us, pressing on towards the high call of Jesus Christ. I ask you, Lord, to bless everyone who needs a blessing this morning, to heal everyone who needs a healing this morning, to encourage those who need to be encouraged to, this morning, and to uplift those spiritually with wisdom and insight. In Jesus' name, amen. Hebrews chapter 1. Now, this has to do with faith, but it also has to do with diligence and obedience diligence and obedience. I'm only going to read two scriptures, just two. This is just something to carry you through the morning before I walk into work. Hebrews 11, 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Just hold on to that for a minute. Verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him for he or she that comes to God must believe that he is God and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Obedience is better than sacrifice. In order to be obedient, one has to make a sacrifice. One makes a sacrifice because he is obedient. God will bless you and reward you. It's been years since I've seen God move the way he has for me. Um, in the beginning of my walk, he was always showing up. But then I detoured and I faltered and, and, you know, I fell off. And even though I stayed in the Word, even though I was doing ministry, we tend to fall when things don't go our way, when things are falling apart, and we lose faith. But a grace, and only the grace of God, I was able to be picked back up through the Holy Spirit and come back into that oneness with Him. But for the last five years, I've been sold out to God doing everything that he's telling me to do to the best of my ability. And uh, I want you to get like now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The substance is something you're holding on to. And then it's the, you know, but you can't see it. And you're wondering, God, why, you know, I'm praying, I'm believing, I'm, I'm being patient. It's been a, a day a week, a month, a few months, a year, a few years, even a decade, Lord, I'm, but I'm still holding on. When God drop, drops a word on you, he'll tell you what he's going to do. It's up to you to believe in faith that he's going to do it. But you're diligently seeking him. You're, you're reading his words. You're in the Bible. You're going to church. You know, for the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I, I, I did something I ain't never done in my life. I was in a play, and I was in a Scrooge play at the Church of the Highlands, and what was so beautiful, I was telling God, my, my heart warms just thinking about it, 
was I spent so much time in, in this family. The Church of the Highlands is a beautiful church. They got beautiful brothers and sisters that walk in love. And they, it was just such a warm feeling, you know, and I was telling God how blessed I was to have that and how blessed I was to be so content with that. And so what happened was I got real close closer to God in the revelation that I needed to be close to him. And so in that process, what I did was I watched God move in my life and I watched him just do the things that only that God could do. And so in that process of what God could do, what I did was I stayed in faith. So I was driving to work this morning and God did something miraculously loving to me that I never thought that he well, not that I never thought he would do, but he did it. I had, he dropped something in my spirit that I needed to hear. And I was driving and I just started laughing and laughing and laughing. After I just started laughing and I was like, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what you did for me. Thank you that you dropped that on my spirit. Thank you that you've just done all these great things. And so what I want you to understand is that God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. He's blessed me so much. I was telling the brother, I am truly spoiled and I want for nothing, nothing, nothing. And what's so beautiful was that God was using me to minister to these sisters and brothers in this church. And so I planted seeds and I, and I did the will of God to bring this this play to bless people and to minister to people. And it was, you know, I never thought I would be that that in, in wrapped up in that love. But in God, so we have to understand that it's obedience. Whatever God is telling you to do, just do it. Be obedient to that one thing. I was reading in Ephesians this morning and what came to my spirit was we're a house that's carrying the Holy Spirit, that's carrying God. We're also a tree that's bearing fruit, but we're also a seed and we're planting it. So you're a house, you're a tree, and you're a seed, all for the kingdom of God. And through all that, God is building you up. He's strengthening you. He's encouraging you. You know, the thing you may be praying for, God may have this real bigger picture for you, this bigger blessing for you, and you can't see it. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. You know, I'm just so blessed to understand that God's ways really are not our ways, and his thoughts are really not our thoughts. Our thoughts need to connect with his thoughts through this word. You know, I'm preaching tonight on what I shared yesterday, and I can't wait to preach on it because what in the in the church last night I was reading and I was reading and sharing with this sister this post I'm going to do later on, hopefully today, about the company we keep. You know, you want to be blessed by God, then this is what you do. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. So in verse one, it says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. If you have no faith, then you're not pleasing God. If you have no faith, you're not diligently seeking him. Because your faith is, I'm reading this book, that's God's written word. Whatever's in this book is what I'm basing my life on. Now, my faith is in the pages of this book, and it's talking about the God that I'm diligently seeking after. And if I'm diligently, diligently seeking after him, it's like you're going to run into him, and you and him are going to, you're going to explode when you run into each other. And he's going to be so happy that he's going to want to bless you. It's like a parent. If their child is constantly doing everything they can to please that parent, that parent is proud and they're honored and all they want to do is lavish their love upon this child or children. 
but it's an intimate relationship because they know what that child needs and wants and has been asking for. Well, the Father in heaven knows what you need, what you want, and what you've been praying for. So if you're diligently running after him, if you're diligently in the word of God, if you're diligently in prayer, if you're serving him, serving the body of Christ, being a living sacrifice, why would God not want to bless you? Some of you might be saying, man, pastor, but you don't know how long it's been. Let me tell you something. I've been praying for, the, for a prayer for the last five years. And I could even go beyond, but this one prayer that I've been praying longer than five years, but for the last five years, I thought it was coming to pass. Literally. And over the weekend, it seemed to have fallen apart again. But I told God, you know, God, it don't matter. This morning, I was like, it doesn't matter because I'm in a place where I know you have something great for me. I know you have someone great for me. I don't know who it is, what it is, where it is, but my faith is that you got it because the Bible says, not Pastor Ronnie, the Bible says, all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord. And if I'm diligently seeking God in his face, then he's going to reward me. Not because of the things that I'm that God is doing through me, but for the things that I'm doing to get to him, to understand him, to understand this word. See, we're servants of the most high God. A servant is someone who serves in whatever capacity that God puts you in. I'm, I'm at work and I work with disabled folks. Say by grace works with convicts in San Quentin, dudes in San Bruno, juvenile hall, the homeless. I am a servant all the way around. I help churches out. You know, I plant seeds in churches. I minister in churches. You know, I've done the homeless feed with one church, did the play with this church, helped build another church. You know, I, I, God is using me, but I'm grateful, but because of my obedience. See, obedience is better than sacrifice, but I've sacrificed a lot in my obedience to God. Why would God not want to bless me? We serve a loving God. And even at times when we wonder, why is God allowing this? Why is God allowing that? He's building your faith. He's building your encouragement. He's building your endurance. He's building your perseverance. But just remember, whatever it is you're praying for, whatever it is you're hoping for, like that, it could happen. And God may be doing it today. He may do it next week. He may do it next month or next year. But you got to remember as you're going along the path, you're growing, you're maturing, and your faith is growing too, and you're helping other people, and you're seeking God, and you're learning about God in new ways. You know, I was, I, I'm, not, I'm serious. I was reading in Ephesians today, and I saw um, the rapture in Ephesians. Been reading it for, for years, and there it was. It was like, wow, I can't believe that. Let me see if I can find it real quick, just to give some encouragement. Um, cause that's what I'm here to do today is to, is to bring you encouragement and you know, I got to go to work, but I got to, I got like maybe a couple more minutes. Let's see. Um, so I was in Ephesians chapter one and I, I don't have my glasses on, so I'm going to do my best. Here it is. Ephesians chapter one, verse 10, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times, he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and both which are on that earth. That goes with how he says, you know, when we're going to rise and all that. But it, I, I just, I love this word. You're seeking God. I'm seeking God. I'm, I'm loving the wisdom he gives me, the revelations he gives me, the understandings he gives me, because he doesn't have to do it. But just walk in faith today. Believe, hope that today God is going to do something for you. 
Believe that today your breakthrough is going to happen. Believe that today that healing is going to happen. Believe today that that man or woman that you've been praying for is going to walk into your life. Believe today that your child will return back home. Believe that your child will give their life to God. Believe whatever it is that you've been believing and praying and hoping for. Interceding, having people pray. Believe why not today? Why not you? Why not you? Why not God bless you today? For those of you that's been being a blessing to others continuously, your labor is not in vain. For God is going to shine upon you. He's going to give you above and beyond all that you can ask or think. Man, that's deep. Your cup is about to overflow. Someone who's listening to this has been broken, but constantly serving God, constantly being there for other people, wondering if God has heard your prayer. Guess what? Today he heard it. Why? Because he's speaking to you right now, not me. So, hey, been there, done that. But the grace of God keeps carrying me and carrying me. I'm telling you, I already know I'm about to walk into an overabundance of blessings just because I serve an awesome God. So Lord, bless the brothers and sisters today. I pray that this word of encouragement of faith has just uplifted them and done more in them, through them, by them and for them, just by the sound of my voice. Even though it's my voice, it's your words, for I was guided to preach and drop this quick sermon. We give you praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful and blessed week in the Lord Jesus Christ.